Oh, lovely people. Today we'll be looking at the domain naming service and uh, what happens when your DNS cache doesn't have the enough information required to resolve the names that you're looking for. What are the recursive or iterative operations on DNS? How does root hint help? And how does DNS forwarder work? We'll look at all of these concepts using the whiteboard and uh, I'll draw it some diagrams and hopefully uh, it'll be easier to understand. Let's go to the whiteboard. What is a recursive query? It is a definitive query that demands name resolution or the answer. It cannot be found and it happens between client and local DNS server. What is an iterative query? It is a query between local DNS and other DNS servers. It does not demand name resolution, which means other servers can either send name resolution or reference. Here I am on my laptop, uh, which is a, which has a DNS client, and uh, I'm gonna access my website, which is called mywebsite.com. Hence, uh, the request will go from my laptop to my local DNS server, which is gonna look within its DNS cache. And if it finds the information uh, about the IP address, and it is gonna send it back to my laptop and I'm going to access it. Uh, this is recursive query. At times, uh, you have firewall implementations, which is when you don't want to expose your DNS server out on internet. In that situation, uh, you are going to configure your DNS server as a forwarder. So any request coming to your DNS server is forwarded to ISP's uh, DNS server. Uh, and ISP's uh, DNS server is going to take care of your name resolution queries. And uh, what it does is it'll look up in the cache. If it doesn't find it, will look for the root hints. And then using the root hint, it will send the query to the root DNS server. At the root DNS server, it will look up for the top level domains, such as .com, .edu, .gov, .in, .us. So it, it knows about the .com website, produces that IP address. And at this point, it is not going to give a, a name resolution, but it's going to give a referral response, which means it's referring to another DNS server. Uh, with this referral response, my ISP's DNS server is going to pick that IP and go to that DNS server and ask the same question as in, do you know the IP address of mywebsite.com? Now this DNS server is going to give us the IP address of the second level uh, name and uh, it is again going to respond back with the uh, referral response uh, of the my website uh, domain uh, DNS and with that IP address my ISP is again going to go back uh, not go back but it is going to go to the uh, uh, DNS of mywebsite.com I'm going to ask the question, do you know what is the IP address of mywebsite.com? And yes, it knows. And hence, it sends back an authoritative response of name resolution uh, that it has resolved the name. It's going to send back the IP address back to the ISP's DNS, which then for re forwards back it to the uh, forwarder within my network. And then from there, it comes to my uh, Hope it was easy to understand and uh, it might help you. Keep watching free stuff. My name is Ravi Varma.